Greetings Cosmos, and welcome back to Super Mario RPG. Last time we defeated King Calamari. And so this time, I'm descending deeper into the ship. Ah! Okay, so to defeat these I must use special attacks. Otherwise, I simply don't die. Yay! Alright, Mallow has leveled up. Plus four, plus one, plus three. Sure, I'll take a physical attack boost. Oh no, I keep forgetting how fast, well, it's not that I forget how fast those enemies are, it's that they outspeed everyone I have. Take that. Oh nice. A level up or two has gotten me powerful enough to one shot those, uh, jerks okay so let's go ahead and finish off this alley rat once again all right so these bullets instead of starting a battle with you knock you off the uh, platform Oh no. Gorgon. Prepare to die, Gorgon. Nice damage. Alright, so. Huh. The roof over this section makes it so it's hard to jump over the rats to dodge them. Ow. Ow. 29 damage. Alright, let's go ahead and defeat this. Oh no! The tiny rat fled. Oh, bad timing on the defense. I think it's about time I get a heal in. Yeah, Mario's in kill range for those, uh, awful greepers. Alright, so, eating two crystals to the face doesn't really phase Gino because each one does, like, eh, a little over 10% of his health is damaged and darn it I was supposed to defeat these first. 48 damage. Woo. Ow. Take that. What? You survived that? Well, no matter what, I think everything's getting cleared out this turn, so... When I first played this game, I was so bad at the timed hits. I had... I started trying to use a turbo controller I had to try and do the timed hits for me, since, you know, it would hypothetically hit the... whatever button I wanted it to hit. What, like 60 times a second or something? 30 times a second? Some ridiculous number of times per second. Once again! I think this game registers one input per attack. And so that did not do well for me.
once again. Take that, Gorgon. Other jump attacks might scale in their damage faster start at higher damage than you get to with the standard jump. But the standard jump, by virtue of costing three flower points, less than half of the net of the cost for the next level jump. can be used practically forever. Take that. Let's see. I think I'll go for a heal this turn. Oh no, not poison. Ow. Sheesh. I don't know why I'm spending two actions defeating this enemy that could be defeated with one action. Poison. Again, what is with Mario's defenses? I'm not used to him being the low defense guy. Whew. Oh no. In trying to escape the rat, I found a hidden enemy. Also rat. Take that, also rat. Take that, Reacher. The uh, sprites for this game aren't as hard for me to parse as in other Super Nintendo games, but with something like Reacher, it took me forever to understand that was a skeleton hiding behind a clock. For the longest time, I thought it was a skeleton laying in a bed. Alright. Oh, come on. There we are. Alright, how many coins do I- I'm maxed out. But sure, I'll open this thing full of coins. Oh, the fake Mario room. I love it. Got a Keto Keto Cola. Oh, right. My inventory's full up. Should have thought about that before because I could have chugged on a flower tab. Anyway, if you press A while facing the false Mario, it's actually an enemy. Alright, take that, Greeper. Really? Still alive? Eh, I'm sure Peach can finish you off. Sorry, Toadstool. Yep. Ouch. Huh, just realized the hands on that clock look like a Y button. And the clock itself is frowning. Woo, pure water. Alright, level 12. Let's see. Decent attack boost. I'm gonna go with a decent attack boost. And then get the heck out of here. So apparently there's... Wow, that's a lot of enemy. And I don't have any uh, multi-target attacks yet. Take that. And that. Drink this. 
I hit the defense button way too early there. I, my issue with understanding the Griper was that uh, I didn't pay any attention to anything below the top bit. Take that, Dry Bones. Oh no, Mario's down to 3 HP. Oh no. I was not ready to react to that. Oh hey, more pure water. And Bowser has leveled up and learned poison gas. Let's raise his attack power by less than everyone else. Wait. There we go. So supposedly there's a hidden door in this room, but I think the prize is just like coins or something, and I hate fighting these undead enemies. Alright. That in itself should serve as a warning for what's about to go down. I'm glad I didn't try and push on yesterday. This is a lot further away than I remembered it being. Oh hey, this is practically a boss unto itself. I think it has more hit points than the previous boss had. Take that! Oh! But because it's weak to jump... Got safety badge! Heck yeah! Hey you, who I need to cure status conditions on the rest of the team. Have this badge that protects you from status conditions. Right, you know what? I want to, uh... Save before I move on. Huh. I for I keep forgetting that some of these chests that are filled with... Oh, that's not even worth anything. That are filled with enemies refill themselves when you leave the room. And they refill themselves with cash, which isn't all that great or interesting. Yay! I like how the fact that we're in the treasure cellar pays off with actual treasure. I know as much treasure as I would have hoped pirates would have, but whatever. Oh, whoops. Take that, Zeo Star. Once again! Oh, not enough damage to destroy it. Oh well. Take that, Krusty. I I have no no idea how I meant to interpret what this thing is. It's like some kind of jellyfish thing. All right. Hop. Oh no, I landed on a fish. Mr. Kipper. Take that, Mr. Kipper. Oh, I was hoping for a once more flower. Now I remember these being kind of hard to crack with physical attacks, so... Take that. Alright, level 12. 74 to 79. Okay, so. Escaping that. Oh, hey! I spent so long wondering about this door when I was a kid, never actually figuring out how to get to it, even though it's perfectly obvious. So, the safety ring. It doesn't offer the stat boost that the amulet does. Guards against mortal blows, it says. It protects against ele it offers absolute protection against elemental attacks too. All right, and welcome to the surface. I like how you can get back underwater in this room, so if you go to the surface, you aren't trapped up there with only one way out. 
Like, say, if you make it this far and decide you want to save before facing the boss, you can go down that whirlpool and do so. Ah, what's going on here? Who are you? What? You're looking for a star? I'll let you see so stars. Ah, ha. Anyway, you're out of luck. You see, whatever falls into the sea becomes Johnny's property. Got that, matey? Oh, and one last thing. Read my lips. We ain't letting you through. Got it? Sure, I got it. What if I were to do, say, this? Would that change your minds? Skewer? Oh no. I timed it wrong. Take that, bandana red. And then that last one flees in terror. I wish I could swap the coins and experience. Ah, oh, you're stronger than you look. Better warn the upper deck. Come on, mates. I like how they were handling this treasure chest, and as soon as they let it go, it goes back up. Alright, where's the intruder? <laughs> I don't see him. Did he get away? There he is. Get him, boys. Here, this is on us. <laughs> what the? How dare you dodge the barrel? Normally, I'm not one for cutscenes where, you know, stuff like that happens, but it, it's a Mario game. Stuff like that happening. Like, for cutscenes where combat happens, mostly because characters tend to be incompetent in cutscenes, whereas that was Mario being hyper competent, and I like that better. Hey, how'd you get up here so fast? Well, your luck has run out. Don't We don't take kindly to strangers here. Alright, so... I'm gonna give myself a... Or give Gino a boost. So that he can follow that up by potentially defeating the Bandana Reds in one hit. Take that, Bandana Red. And then Peach will just do whatever. Skewer? Oh no. Woo! Skewer? Oh no. Take that! Okay. So... I'm... Not sure that was enough to one-shot the enemy, but... That combined with the damage that Peach did was enough to take it out? Ow. Like, I can see that later games definitely, or later Mario RPGs definitely improve the mechanics. Like, the slight delay between seeing the attack hit the character and the character taking damage so that you can respond to it. Like, making those simultaneous, I feel, was a huge improvement. And the way Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga handled it. Well, the Mario and Luigi series in general handled it. Was, like, way better. You're pretty tough, mate. Alright, I'll let you through to Johnny's place. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is... First, I'm gonna heal us. Then I'm going to recover... Um... Our flowers. And this makes sure I have an open splot, splot, spot in case I get a flower or whatever from Johnny. So you're THE Mario, eh? Ar har har. Not much to look at. Well, this star fell into my sea, so it's mine. If you want it, you'll have to fight for it. Alright, so first off... Boosting everybody up. Ow. Woo. Pierce. It's like skewer, except stronger. Alright, now I'm just gonna jump on Johnny's head. Take that, Johnny. 300 damage. And I'll just give us a quick heal. Oh, missed the timing or whatever. 
All right. Time to boost Toadstool's defenses. As a kid, I way underestimated the value of this. The value of d stat boosting abilities. As opposed to just taking the turn to do more damage. Get tough! Maybe, well, not maybe, that definitely contributed to some of the problems I had with various video games. And lastly, boost yourself. Like, Dragon Quest 3 would have been a heck of a lot less grindy if I had thought to use the stat boosting spells. Especially against bosses. Oh no, I'm doing half damage now that he's gotten tough. Ow. So if you defeat all the minions, I'm not sure if it's just one wave or two. Johnny challenges Mario to fight him one on one. I'm gonna try it at least once because I haven't tried it since I was a kid and like every time I fought this battle the way it's intended to like that, I lost. <clears throat> Even when consuming red essences to get three free turns. Part of it was my over-reliance on physical attacks rather than special attacks, which do way more damage. Take that, Johnny. Fwahaha, <laughs> not bad, fellas. How about it, Mario? Mario versus me. Want to mix it up? And then Mario, who has a three-on-one edge, is like, Sure, good fun, and good for you too. All right, here comes my backup. The, the way they all jumped and Peach seemed panicked. All right, I win. I'm impressed, matey. You've earned the star. Think of it as a souvenir of our fight. Now, normally I'd call it here, but there's another boss right after this that I want to get to. And like, well, I eventually figured out that if I left Johnny with one minion, he would, uh, Never go one-on-one -on -one with Mario, therefore enabling me to win. The next boss stonewalled me for months. Hmm. You must have really wanted that star. Now go on, get out of here before I change my mind. Johnny's our main man. He even fights in his sleep. We'd follow him anywhere. This is 100% Karan juice. It's my tasty, tasty stuff, mate. Hop on the trampoline in the next room. It'll take you outside. Go on now. Give it a try. Alright. I hopped on the trampoline. And now off to Seaside Town. Yee You found the star. Well done. Sorry I can't do the voice that I did for him last time. Because A. I don't remember what it was. And B. While I was doing it I actually had something in my throat fleming it up. But your journey ends here. You are so gullible, don't you know who I am? I'm Yaradovich, a member of Smithy's gang. Never heard ya. Shocked? It's no wonder. My impersonation of an ordinary person was flawless. Your search for the stars has worried Smithy. So if I take the star back to him, I'll earn brownie points. This is the way to get ahead. It's futile to try and fight me. Just hand it over nice and easy. If I say no, they'll just torture someone and I'll get a worse prize later on. Eee! And to think I got the star without even soiling my hands. I'm such a genius, it scares me sometimes. No wonder I'm so important. Alright everyone, listen up. We're returning to the castle. Our ride should be here about now. Alright, so 
First things first, I'm gonna save before I go challenge Yaradovich. Yari being Japanese for spear. Oh, hey! This is no longer blocked off, but it's still locked. Blade's late. What's taking him so long? We need to get out of here. This is just great. Mario caught up with us. Only one thing we can do now. All the way we rust a little, we'll have to swim for it. I missed the implication that that means they're machines or metal. When I was younger, I was just so confused. Never mind that they are, in fact, a spear. Not so fast there. The star is a gift to me, mate, Mario. You spineless dogs have no code of honor. We'll make you walk the plank. Johnny, maybe we should leave Mario with the pleasure of wrapping things up here. Eehee! I guess we'll have to take our disguises off now. Group formation! As opposed to solo formation? Alright. So first off... Boost! And then jump. Nice. Alright. I guess I'll just have you defend for this turn. Oh no. Despite being named Water Blast, it's non-elemental because there's not a water element attack in this game. Wow, that was some intense damage. Alright. And take that. Time for healing. Gino took more than half his health and damage that turn. Ow. Alright. Everyone's boosted. Eat this, jerk. I forget that therapy even exists as a move. Oh yes, and there's Peach's card suit. Hearts. Willy Wisp. Ouch. Also non-elemental? 132. Eat this. The timing on this is more difficult for me to get than with the group hug thing. Ow. You auto-target the real one when you hit to attack, so the mirage serves less as a distraction and more as a little bit of extra damage, I suppose. Well, that was way easier than I than when I was a kid. Ah, now's the text for the star. Smithy is now on the race for the star pieces. What horrible surprises might he have in store for Mario? I got the shed key. To Mario. No one knew it must have been a breeze knocking down Yard, eh? By the way, my pirates say they saw a huge axe flying across the sky. It's probably one of Smithy's nasty, nasty friends. Go get him, pal. Well, my gills are failing on me, so I'll be heading back down. Drop in whenever you have time, okay? Your true mate, Jonathan Johnny Jones. How nice. How many frog coins do I have? 30? Not nearly enough. Anyway, join me next time when I open the shed. I'll see you then.